Rocks. The time has come to reveal the winner of this week's Rochester Rocks, the exclusive series you'll see on News 10 NBC. You know, thousands of votes came in for this one, and we've been asking what's the best sorority or fraternity around town. Here's a list of finalists chosen by you. Delta Phi Epsilon Alpha Phi Pi Chi Sorority, also um, the Phi Kappa Psi Sorority, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority, a lot of sororities involved in yeah. this one. L ladies, uh, of course, coming out on top because of that. Nikki Rudd joins us live with the winning sorority this morning. Nikki. Oh, winning with 29% of the vote. It's Delta Phi Epsilon at RIT. The sisters out in force this morning. Waking up early. I love it. Right on and bushy tailed. We're joined by the charter president, Lee Beche, and also Sage Simon here. And how does it feel to win Rochester Rocks? best sorority or fraternity? Well, we're just very excited. We always try to be very involved in our community at RIT and with all of our different philanthropies. So it's really rewarding to see that our work is being recognized. And I love the purple, by the way. <laughs> and I also love your motto. Tell me about that, uh, Sage. Um, so our motto is Essay Quam Videri, which means to be rather than to seem to be. And it's just sort of an encouragement to our sisters to be the best version of themselves. And, and don't be fake. I think, I think that's a good one. And, you know, Delta Phi Epsilon has won a whole a lot of awards. Yeah, so there are a lot of different awards given out by the RIT Greek Life Office, and recently in the last three years, we've either been the winner or the first runner-up for President's Cup, which is just sort of an all-encompassing um, Greek Life Award on campus, so we're very proud of that. I know you can run, um, add Rochester Rocks to yeah. the list as well. <laughs> and this is more than just a sisterhood. You guys support a lot of charities as well. Yeah, so we have um, three different philanthropies, and um, we do a lot of events throughout the year to su uh, support those philanthropies. Um, we have our Beautiful Week coming up, and um, we also have our Philanthropy Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Um, so. And it's such a great cause. We'll talk more about Beautiful Week coming up in our next half hour. But I think these girls have a little cheer for us. Take it away, ladies. you start your Friday morning. Guys. Wow, what energy. Yes, that's a wake-up call. Gosh. I love the DFIE girls at Syracuse when yeah. I was there, but I'm, I have my coffee mug, a Kyo, because that's my sorority. We didn't win. A Kyo. <laughs> well, did you have a cheer like that? Yeah, of course we all do. Yeah. Yeah. We're allowed here, Rebecca. I know. <laughs> I know. But I love them anyway. <laughs> Congratulations, Delta Phi Epsilon Sorority at the RIT campus. Uh, Nikki, thanks so much. Okay, okay here we go. Our favorite day of the week, because it's Friday, the day we get to reveal the winner of Rochester Rocks. Exclusive series, only here on News to NBC. We've been asking you what's the best sorority or fraternity around town. Thousands of votes came in. And get this, winning with 29% of the vote, the Delta Phi Epsilon Sorority at RIT. That's where Nikki Rudd is with the Sorority Sisters right on the Henrietta campus this morning. Nikki. Good morning, Rebecca and Pat. These ladies know how to wake up on a Friday morning. We are the deepers. We are the best. We're not Unicorn, that is their mascot. I'm joined live now by Valeria Via and also Aaron Padaisky. Tell us what Delta Phi Epsilon is all about, Aaron. Delta Phi Epsilon is all about our core values, which is de uh, dedication, pride, and excellence. And we really try to practice those values in everything we do, whether it's in Delta Phi Epsilon or the organizations outside of it that we're a part of. And I know that there's so much history with Delta Phi Epsilon. 21 years here at the RAT campus. Yes, so if you look down that hallway, we have um, all our paddles, and basically each paddle represents a new member class that has joined since 1995 at RIT. And I know charity is a big part of what you guys do. Tell me about one of the charities that you support. One of the charities that we support is ANAD, which a lot of our sisters can really connect with. It's the National Association for Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Disorders, and it provides support and treatment to those in need um, that are suffering from eating disorders. So important in this day and age with so many ladies. And we have Beautiful Week coming up the first week in May. Tell me about that. So Beautiful Week is a week which we use to raise awareness around the community, and it's all about eating disorders. So we have different events throughout the week. On Monday, we have an event on campus, and um, on Friday, which is our last day, we have a candlelight vigil in which we um, 
honor those who have died from eating disorders. Wow. That's so wonderful. And one of my favorite parts uh, in BU Tiffle Week is the uh, s scale smashing. That's coming up on Tuesday. We have all the info you need at WATC.com. And the ladies want to send you away with another cheer. Take it away. That's yes. a great sorority house on yeah. the campus. Thanks so much, Nikki. Uh, and all the great work they do as yeah. well. Looks like they have fun and also uh, help the community. So, so we're very lucky to have them, Nikki. Thank